I think Andy McCabe is trying to do the right thing for the FBI, and, and it's, the timing is not unusual. Alex, uh, it's very typical when a new FBI director comes in for there to be a clean sweep, particularly at the dep deputy director position. So I wouldn't read that into it, but what I, what I think we should be talking talking about, excuse me, is that we're on dangerous ground when a president and some key Republican leaders can personally target a career FBI agent. That's what Andy McCabe is. He's a 20, 25-year veteran FBI agent rising from the streets to the deputy director position. And we're seeing now that this really appears to be a concerted effort to personally target FBI leadership mm. because of dismay over the special counsel investigation. We, we look at uh, Congressman DeSantis from Florida who actually proposed legislation to curtail the special counsel and cut off his funding after six months. We have Representative Jordan from Ohio conceding that he's talked with the president about the special counsel investigation. We're going to see more of this as the special counsel grows closer and closer uh, to the president and his family members. But that's what this is about targeting career professionals because they're getting very close. And this is dangerous ground when, when this happens. And it comes perilously close to the definition of obstruction of justice. The president is tweeting about, about officials leading the FBI, leading investigations that he doesn't care for. He is impeding. He's deterring. He's harassing. He's intimidating. Look up the def definition of obstruction. You'll find those very same so words. So do you think that's what the congressman, Joe Walsh, was warning of the president, that it's obstruction of justice, that that's the way the attacks could backfire? That's what he said in his tweet. Is that what's at stake? That's my interpretation here, that if the president uh, uh, keeps doing this and he does it in concert with certain Republican leadership, he is endangering or he's risking uh, accusations that he's actually interfering with, his, with the investigation of the White House. I, and I think he's come very close with that. He's got to be very careful. If his counsel uh, has him continue this, and I know they, they may not be able to control him, but there will be discussion in Washington about whether this constitutes obstruction. I want to get your reaction to uh, this. We're going to play it for you here. Republican Congressman Francis Rooney questioning Mueller's investigation on our air yesterday. Here it is. I think the unfortunate thing is that Mr. Mueller has had such a distinguished career and he got into this thing and it's become so hopelessly partisan and compromised the way he picked the kind of staff that he picked and some of the uh, horrible things coming out of the FBI and the Department of Justice. He picked a team that has given 12 times as much money to Democrats as Republicans, so it's hardly a balanced team. And it's just inevitable that sooner or later those some things were going to come out of those people who were so highly partisan. A lot of them worked for Hillary Clinton. One of them worked for the Clinton Foundation and Eric Holder. Uh, that's not a balanced investigative team. What do you make of Francis Rooney's argument there? So, look, Mueller chose the most talented agents and prosecutors at his disposal. And I don't think anyone that, that knows those folks would argue with the talent and capability there. If we want to get to the point where FBI squads, FBI investigative teams, um, special counsels are going to be asked to count heads as to Democrats and Republicans and look back at their political opinions, then, then again, we're politicizing even more um, FBI teams and, and risking the perception of the public that everything has become politicized in Washington. So he's got the best talent there. Um, look, Andy McCabe, for example, is being criticized. Why? Because before he became deputy director, his wife had the audacity to run for office in Virginia um, as a Democrat. Um, that's one of Andy's so-called big sins. Um, if we have a, have a government where FBI agents can't have personal opinions, can't have spouses run for office, can't donate any money to anybody, um, then we're just politicizing the Bureau even further and undermining the mission of the Bureau. And lest we forget, Robert Mueller is a Republican.